Nail trims can be uneventful in the office, but and you can see we've trimmed the nails, but right coming off the central pad is a nail. So this dog needs a nail trimmed in the middle of its foot. Now, isn't that weird? Thought you might like to see that. <laughs> so as Allie trims those nails, <laughs> she has good luck. She's looking, nice. and you can see not all dogs are cooperative. But you can see, she's looking on the other, she's looking on the foot, she's trimming, she's trimming the nail right there on the pad. It hasn't caused any problem, the dog's 14, so like they say in life, it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just trim it. You mean trim and, it more? Oh, it looks good. I just said don't trim it, like don't trim it, don't fix it, just trim it. I think and, that's okay. and then on the other toenails, did you trim all those now? Not that, just the one paw, so. Okay. The rest of them. So, how do you know where to trim it? Well, you stop when it starts bleeding. Oh, that's really, <laughs> that's good. So you're doing a little at a time till it bleeds on the dark ones. Mm-hmm. And on the red ones, do you... And when you see this little spot right here, then you stop. Before little it starts bleeding. Little red spot? Mm-hmm. That's, that's good advice. Well, I'll do what I can. Look at that trimming. That's good. Do you see the spot yet? No, we're getting there. Maybe a little more. Oh, see, there's a spot. So it's bleeding a little bit, but you have your styptic powder and you're putting it on there so it won't bleed anymore. That's good. Oh, that's so nice and professional. And then you're going to go to the other, to the other uh, toenail and try not to make it bleed all over. That's great. Those are pretty big trimmers. You like them? They're wonderful. That's good. And you're just trimming away slowly but surely. And you see that white kind of flaky toenail. And then as you get down, you're looking for your little identifying red spot, right? That's correct. I just want to make sure. Don't want to put words in your mouth. You tell me if that's what you're looking for. <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> okay. So, uh... So you're trimming now, so you can't really see the quick on these darker ones, can you? What a shame. You can't. So you can see them on this one. Yeah, you can see that. So not it's, so much on those. Not on those, huh? So we're just going, we're trimming away. La di da di da. Okay, we're done? <coughs> we're done. With all of them? No, we gotta do the back now. Okay. <coughs> this is torture for me. No, not really. And the dog. It's a good thing. for her. Poor little mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. So you can see the quick on that one a little bit. I mean, you can see the outside redness. Good. You're just trimming away. Don't let me bother you while you're doing your job. Okay. Trim, trim, trim. Pretty long nails, wouldn't you say? I would say they are long. Carpet claws. Why do you call them that? Do they get stuck in the carpet? Yes, they do. And then they break. And then they, and then they don't go outside either, so, because they've been on the carpet all day. That's don't. a good one to see. See, if I trim much more, it'll bleed. Where? Did you show that again? See that little spot right there? Oh, okay. Spot. Thank you for showing You're us welcome. that. You're welcome. Well... And you often need a lot of help to trim. Sometimes we're not torturing this little dog, but we're definitely holding him on his side, and Allie's just trimming away slowly but surely. So at home, it might be tough for you to do this kind of trimming. Allie just went to a course where they train you to let, so your dogs like to be trimmed, right, Allie? That's correct. What was the, what was the veterinarian's name that? Dr. Sophia Yen. And she will teach you how to treat your dog and how to almost have an enjoy a nail trim. Is that true? That's true. All right. I think okay. that's Well, that's, that's the story of the, the poor older poodle with a 14, 14 year old poodle with a claw, uh, with a toenail going right out of a central pad. And he's panting, but, and we are holding him down on his side so that he won't good react girl. too much. We're, we're letting her up, isn't that good? good? Oh, she's a sweetheart. She says, oh, that wasn't a very nice Christmas present. She's reading her bill. Off she goes. 
So if your cat, you want to trim its nails because it's clawing the furniture, clawing you, we're going to show you how to do it. Sharon's going to show you how to do it. So you get your putty on the, we always use a nice little towel or rug. And then, yeah, use your finger to push out the, extend the claws. Extend the claws. So you just want to take just the tips of the nails. Just the tips. You can see where the quick is, where it turns, the white turns to red. You don't want to go that far. Yeah. It's just the tips of the nails. Oh, yeah. And then to get the dew claw out, you do the same thing. Great. And then the back claws. And you don't really know this cat very much, do I've you? I've never dealt with this cat. And so this is a cat that's just letting you do it. Some cats can get really, really angry when you're trimming their toenails. It's so you push them right out on uh -huh, the foot. Uh-huh, put them right, push the claw right out so you have easy access to it. And as I say, you just... And you look for the red. Uh-huh, and you just... And if the black nail, you just take the tips off, right? Right. And that's going to allow the cat not to be able to put his claws into your furniture and pull because that's when they do all the snagging of your fabric. Yeah. And this sure beats declawing them. Because declawing can be very painful. Yeah. And that's it. Oh, he that's nice. Well, thanks, Sharon. Good. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Good <laughs> boy. <laughs>